Hello students, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. I'm so delighted to see you again. Now, students, please look at the blackboard and try to get the topic of our lesson. What can you see in the pictures? Yes, you are right. The topic of our lesson is TV and the media. In this lesson, we are going to learn new vocabulary related to the media, then we will learn and revise past continuous, and then we are going to practice phrasal verbs. Now, my dear students, let's revise the past simple. Put the verbs in brackets into the past simple. The verbs are the following. Hurt, teach, sell, and fall. I'll give you some time, and then we'll check. Now, students, I see that you are ready. Let's check your answers. Tom's father, you are right, Tom's father taught him how to drive when he was 17. We needed some money, so we, you are right, sold our car. Don fell down the stairs and hurt his leg yesterday. Right you are. Well done. Now, students, I want to check how good you are at TV programs. You should match TV programs and pictures. Yes, you are right. The first one is weather, cookery program, action adventure series. Your task is to match TV programs and pictures. Let's check your answers. The first one is sitcom, situational comedy. The second is talent show. And the third one is cartoon. You are right. Now, students, let's get acquainted with the new words related to TV and the media. I'll read each word twice and you should follow my pronunciation. Found. Found. Found is to start an organization, company or political party. Identity. Identity. Identity means who a person is or the qualities of a person or group that make them different from others. Unify. Unify. Unify to bring together people or countries. Coronation. Coronation. Coronation means a ceremony at which a person officially becomes king or queen. Current affairs. Current affairs. Political news about events happening now. Now, my dear students, we are going to read a text and then we will do true or false task. Let's read the text. BBC. What is the BBC? The BBC was founded in 1922, almost 100 years ago, and it is the oldest national broadcaster in the world. Since then it has become a trusted news source for people everywhere and a symbol of national identity for British people. Nowadays, BBC programs are shown all over the world. Unifying the nation. The first BBC broadcasts were on the radio, but after World War II, it started broadcasting on television. At that time, many people didn't think that television would ever become popular. But in 1953, thousands of families hurried to buy television sets to watch the live broadcast of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. This event unified the whole nation and made the BBC an even stronger part of the British national identity. BBC programs. The BBC is well known for its news reports and its current affairs programming in the UK and abroad. However, the BBC also produces an exciting range of dramas, sitcoms and game shows as well as hundreds of educational documentaries. Now, students, let's do the next task – true or false. BBC broadcasts all over the world. Is it true or false? Yes, you are right. That's true. 
Everyone knew from the beginning that television would be really popular. Is it true or false? Yes, you are right. That's false, because nobody knew that television would become so popular. And the last statement. The BBC only produces current affair programs. What do you think? Is it true or false? Right you are. That's false. Because the BBC produces not only current affair programs, but also educational and entertaining programs. You are right. Now, students, be ready to make some notes, because we are going to study and revise past continuous tense. Now, students, let's learn the cases. We use the past continuous for an action which was in progress at a stated time in the past. We do not know when the action started or finished. For example, it was raining at midnight yesterday. We also use the past continuous tense for a past action which was in progress when another action interrupted it. We use the past continuous for the action in progress, longer action, and the past simple for the action which interrupted it, shorter action. For example, Lydia was reading a book when the telephone rang. The next case. We use the past continuous for two or more actions which were happening at the same time in the past or for simultaneous actions. For example, while the tsunami was approaching the coast, the people were going to higher ground. Or, as you see in the picture, while Tom was watching TV, your mom was cooking in the kitchen. We also use past continuous to give background information in a story. For example, it was an awful night, it was raining heavily and the river was starting to flood. Now, students, please write down the time expressions used with the past continuous. While, when, as, all day, all night, all morning, yesterday, and etc. Now look at the structure of the past continuous tense. This is the affirmative form. I was going. Negative. We add not. I was not going. And interrogative form. We place the auxiliary verb in the first place. Was I going? The next. You, we, they were going. Negative form. You, we, they were not going. Uh, and the interrogative form. Were you, we, they going? Affirmative form. He, she, it was going. He, she, it in the negative form was not going. And interrogative. Was he, she, it going? Now, students, let's learn phrasal verbs. Please write down keep up with. It means move at the same speed or cope with changes. Keep on means continue. Keep away means prevent access to or hold back. Keep off means stay away, prevent from stepping, climbing on something. Now, students, your task is to complete the sentence using off, away, up, with, and on. I'll give you some time and then we'll check. Students, are you ready? Let's check your answers. It is very important to keep children, you are right, away from unsafe websites. My sister keeps, right you are, my sister keeps on watching the same film again and again. Now, students, we continue doing the task. My dear students, let's check your answers. With so many new forms of entertainment, it's hard to keep keep up with all of them. You are right. Everyone must keep off the stage during performances. 
That's correct. Now we have the last task for today. Please, listen and match the people from 0 to 5 to their favorite TV programs A to H. The people are Miraz, James, Nazam, Tom, Jane and Kairat. TV programs are cookery program, quiz show, comedy, documentary, sports program, sitcom, talent show, and soap opera. Listen attentively. Exercise 7, page 35. Hi, Miras. How is it going? Oh, hi, James. Fine, thanks. I'm just buying some ingredients for dinner. I'm making one of Jamie Oliver's dishes. You should watch his show. It's great. No, thanks. I'm not into cookery programs like you. I prefer comedies. I like to have a good laugh. I know. There's nothing wrong with that. At least you're not a soap addict like my sister, Nazim. She never misses an episode. Tell me about it. My mum is the same, and my brother Tom only watches documentaries. They don't know what they're missing. What about your sister, Jane? Does she watch much TV? Um, no, not really. But when she does, she likes to watch quiz shows and try and answer the questions. The biggest telly addict I know is my next-door neighbour, Kairat. He has sports programmes blasting from his TV every night. It's kind of annoying at times. Anyway, I'd better go. Nice talking to you. Yeah, you too. See you later. Now, students, let's check your answers. James. James likes watching comedy. You are right. Nazam. Nazam prefers soap operas. You are right. Tom usually watches documentary. Jane Jane likes quiz shows. And Kairat uh, Kairat likes sports program. Now, students, I want you to evaluate yourselves. If you have five correct answers, that's per perfect. If you have four or three correct answers, that's not so bad. If you have less than two correct answers, just try better. Now, students, it's high time to finish our lesson. I hope that you have done your best. See you next time.